Um, you bowl, we'll start with the other night. You, you got your first test of, uh, of Accrington Stanley life. Yeah. What was it like? I know there was only 900 in there, but it was a pretty decent, vociferous crowd. How much did you enjoy it? Um, yeah, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the fans. Uh, it was a good atmosphere, great atmosphere. And it's just something I've been looking forward to, you know, since the lockdown and everything and playing 23s, it's just been like, you know, no fans, nothing. So I wanted to get back out in front of fans and just, yeah, spurred me on to want to do better, want to play. So, yeah, it's good. Does anything prepare you for coming into a club for a start as a Lawney and then being thrust into that senior football environment? Um... I think that it's something where I've, I've always had it in my mind where I've always been looking forward to it. So I've just like, I just want to take it in my stride and want to push on and keep going, yeah. Big clubs, Manchester City, don't get much bigger than that, um, yeah. have these kind of pathways for players. I'm sure there are lots of people involved in the process, loan managers and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. Is it something you're very much encouraged to do, to get out and get game time and play football? Um, yeah, well, I feel like, especially for centre-back, um, it's important to get experience uh, because you know centre back's a very trusted position so you need to get out and learn your trade so that's what I want to do here I want to learn and I want to kick on How much does it help you that James Trafford is already at Accrington? Um, well you know James helped me settle in like, he showed me the ropes and everything so yeah it's helped me and, and I'm just here settled and yeah all the lads have been brilliant as well uh, It's common I guess for there to be lots of, lots of moves in transfer windows I know when James arrived he was a bit like what is going on here because he didn't know anybody I don't think you can underestimate that can you when you do know someone and you can latch on to them and they can help you yeah yeah it just helped me a lot you know if you just have someone there could just tell you all the information how how the club works and everything what to expect so you know that helps what does it say about the management team here and about Accrington Stanley that Manchester City are prepared to send some of their young players here? Um, you know, what it says is that um, there's a trust between the two and like it's something that you know, you can see the way Accrington played the aggressive style and um, that's what City saw within the club and they thought like that would suit me so at the same time it's about the player but um, yeah, and I feel like I feel like it was the right step so I wanted to come as well because as much as you guys are young men, you're assets for these football clubs, aren't they? And, and they want you to go out and, and be successful. That is it an easy decision when you get that choice, or is there lots of kind of consideration goes into it? Um, there's consideration, but at the same time, for me personally, that like, I just wanted to come and like, I wanted to play for Accrington. I wanted to show my abilities and show what I can do. What are the ambitions then being here? You've had a little taste of it, 45 minutes the other night. What, what um, are you hoping to do? Uh, well, I don't look too far ahead. I just try and take each game as it comes, take each training session as it comes. And um, every training session, every game I play, I'll give 100% and want to give my best. There's some experience in, in your position, isn't there? Michael Nottingham in particular has played a lot yeah. of games. Ross Sykes is a young man who's played a lot yeah. of matches. Harvey Rogers has played a lot of games as well. On and off the pitch, can you learn a lot from people like that? Um, definitely, I can learn a lot. You know, they're all experienced. They've been playing in the league, so you know that that they can teach me things that I I might not um, have played against. Say, for example, there's different type of strikers, big strikers, um, ones that have hold up play in behind, and I'll definitely be looking to um, gather all the information I can. So when I play, I can put that into the game. Do you think it'll help you that you had a bit of time at Rochdale? Maybe you didn't play as much as you would have wanted, I would imagine, yeah. but to have not be thrust into this completely cold and not having done it before? Um, yeah, definitely. And at the same time, at City, we had um, games in the checker trade, so we would play against first team um, teams as well, and that was great experience. So I've had a little bit of a taste, so I just want to get more of it. That's interesting to me actually because we've, we've just been talking to John Coleman about Accrington's young players getting a chance in that competition yeah. and it being a big deal for them even if it's maybe not a big deal for supporters and people on the outside. Yeah. That tournament format was changed to give young players like yourself an opportunity to play for the under-21s teams. Yeah. How valuable has that been? Um, I think it's just great experience because you know uh, it gives you a real insight to what men's football is really like and how physical it can be. So. From there, I've just um, I took it in my stride, and I'm just hoping to play more, more, more men's football. So, and do you think that's as close as you can get to actually playing in League One or League Two, as you're going to get the chance to do this year? Um, uh, well, you know, all the games, every game is just as important as uh, any other. So, 
for if it's um, in the trophy or if it's league, like, I'll just be looking to play and get as much games as possible. And the manager's been talking for weeks here about having squad depth and competition yeah. for places and senior players on his substitutes bench. Mm -hmm. There is going to be fierce competition in there. Is, is that something that can bring the best out of players? Um, definitely, because you know, uh, if you're not playing at your A game, then someone else can, can step in and they can play at their A game. So it keeps everyone's um, competition uh, high and everyone's just hungry. Everyone wants to do well, everyone wants to play, so it's good.